Hello everyone, back at the tip again today. Let's see what we find. Got a little vial here, a little burst slip one. Loads of bubbles in it though. Nice aqua. They tend to clean up quite well. Just found this uh, piece of vase, I think it is. It's very detailed on there. I did find a couple of other bits um, a bit earlier, but I kept these ones. And I think yeah, it fits on there. Somewhere, yeah, like that. There's another bit here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I'll bring that back with me and uh, try and stick that together. That would look quite cool, wouldn't it? Anyway, carry on. Looks like a little link. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah. Nice little uh, octagonal sheer top. Can't go wrong with that, can you? Looks all right to me. I think I saw something else here. A little tiny one. That's diddly, that is. Cool. Just saw this rolling out. I thought it was whole. Ooh, fancy. I don't know how old that is. Oh well, got a bottle here. James Rudman Limited, Bristol. That'll be stain oleum. Uh, yeah, a water-based um, floor stain, that is. Uh, yeah, cool, nice. Oh, it's a camp coffee. Man, I found lo find loads of these. I think anyone who's uh, put a spade into a tip has found one of these. Um, I've always wondered what they what it tasted like. I bet many other people did too. So, uh, look what I've got. Oh yes! Look at these lovely these chaps having a great time. I think that's a bit more PC than the original label, but um, but yeah, my mum sent me this in the post. She's seen my videos. She uh, she thought it'd be funny for me to have a bit of this. So. Uh, Let's make a cup and, uh, and see what it tastes like. All right. Cheers. Oh, that's not bad. Very sweet. Almost has a, a treacle, treacle kind of taste. Like coffee and treacle. That's all right, that is. Yeah, I think I could get into this. I can see why the Victorians love this so much. Yeah, it's all right. Very sweet, very sweet. I don't know if it's the original recipe, but I might have to get it again. I've got a few more ideas for tasting uh, Victorian stuff, so subscribe and then you won't miss out on that. It's quite interesting, actually. But yeah. Camp Coffee was created in 1885 by Campbell Patterson of R. Patterson & Son in Glasgow. 
The origin of Camp Coffee is believed to have come from a request from the Gordon Highlanders to Campbell Patterson for a coffee drink that could be used easily by the army on field campaigns in India. The regular process of grinding and brewing coffee beans was too complicated and time consuming for a military field kitchen. The creation of liquid camp coffee provided a simpler method. In many ways, leaving aside the fact that there wasn't much coffee in it, camp coffee was the first instant coffee. The original label depicted a Sikh servant waiting on a seated Scottish soldier. A later version of the label, introduced in the mid 20th century, removed the tray from the picture and was seen as an attempt to avoid the connotation that the Sikh was a servant, although he was still shown waiting while the seated Scottish soldier sipped his coffee. The current version, introduced in 2006, depicts the Sikh as a soldier, now sitting beside the Scottish soldier with a cup and saucer of his own. It's still sold in many shops here in the UK and is actually pretty good, so why not give it a go and let me know what you think? Anyway, back to the digging. Got another one here. Ooh, look how red that is. Oh, it's a hose sauce. Mm-hmm, lovely. Got a sauce here. What have we got? Looks like a daddy's. There we go, daddy's sauce. Yeah, the seam stops a loop, so that's a better age. Anyway, carry on. Check out this old label. That's pretty cool, isn't it? It's got some sort of logo there. Hmm. Looks like some gross stuff in there though. Don't think I want to mess with that. Some sort of handle here. Looks like a knife or something. A little butter knife I reckon. Fully rusted away though. Cool. Something here. Looks like a pickle jar. Yeah, just a blank one. Yeah. Quite a nice one though. Yeah, carry on. Just had this jar out. It's a screw top, I think it's an early screw top. Yeah, Horlix. That's not bad. Looks pretty gross inside again. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take it, but mm, pretty gross. Got one sticking out there just there. Let's see what it is. It's a California fig syrup. San Francisco. Not bad. Looks like the, like a lid off a tiny little doll's dish or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Would have had like a little baking pot or something. Maybe. Don't know how I spotted that. Interesting that. Just found this little clay pipe. Looks really knobbly though. Hasn't got a heel. Yeah, it's got all these little knobbles all over it. Mm -mm. I've not seen one like that before. Round two on the camp coffee. I think I'll try and uh, I'll bring a few of the old bottles back and um, put them in my Etsy store. So uh, the link's in the description and all that. So check that out if you uh, fancy having a uh, camp coffee bottle. 
Looking like a sauce. Yep, grannies. So I have to clean it out, but that's granny's delicious sauce and the stopper. That's all right. Quite like the design on these. I think I've said that before, but cool. That's me done for today. It's amazing how quickly your fitness goes away, doesn't it? You have a week off and uh, starting to struggle. Couple of bits, nothing really very special though. Daddy's, granny's, this. Um, I'm gonna leave the Horlicks here because I don't even feel like cleaning this out. I'm gonna ruin my brushes. Um, but yeah, I won't bury it, I'll just leave it out. Uh, just a couple of bits really. I found this little, uh, little jar thing. Don't know, it's got a, uh, you see it there can you it's got stuff around it a bit more of a willow dish there a couple of pipes yeah i'll do a little roundup though wow that was quite good as well this uh this little vase thing maybe it's got a maker's mark on the bottom but yeah not too much really um i'm feel i feel like i'm missing stuff because i'm not really getting to the bottom at the minute I'm just sort of struggling, but I think I'm just going to call it a day and uh, go enjoy this lovely day that we have. I'll do a little bit of a clean up and uh, anyway, cheers guys.